Katie Hunter from MA UK. I'm here with your winner, Nathan Fletcher. Nathan, how good does that feel? Feels unbelievable. I've been waiting for this moment for 15 months, sat out the cage, sitting on a loss. And although in my head I've been telling myself, convincing myself that that was a blessing, that I've learned loads from it, that I've matured, ultimately until you get back in there and prove that to yourself, you know what I mean? All of that really matters. So tonight, I've, I've turned over a new page and I'm ready to continue my story now and have a fantastic 2023. And you were supposed to fight in July, you were supposed to fight in November. How tough has it been getting that close to fighting and then having it snatched away from you? Like you said, sitting on a loss, desperate to get back in there. It's been tough, it's been such a frustrating year. But now I'm at the end of it, I'm coming out the back end with a win. I really am thankful for all that adversity, like going through it day after day, missed opportunities, seeing other contenders coming through the division, getting their shine, and I wasn't having my moment. It was heartbreaking at times, but I just knew, stay the course, and this, this year is going to prove to you how bad you want this. And I've come out the other end now, and I know in my head I'm going to be a world champion. Yeah, nobody doubts that. Uh, 15 months on from that loss with Dominic Woodin, is it still bitter or does this win kind of take all that away now? Well, do you know what? As a competitor, I'm always going to be frustrated. I'm never going to be happy getting beat by any man. But this loss has done a lot to take that off. Sorry, this win's done a lot to take the, you know, the sort of... The, the feel I had of me off that loss, do you know what I mean? So I'm out the other end now, I'm happy, I'm focusing on what's to come, I'm not looking in the past anymore, I'm a completely new fighter, I, I'm happy I got to showcase some of the things I've been working on over the last 15 months and I'm confident that I'm going to go on from this win and have a fantastic career and get to the UFC and become a world champion. And you only do that by facing opponents like this, God, he was a real tough customer, wasn't yeah. he? I knew he was, like, uh, that's what I want though, I've said this all along, like, if you look at my whole resume, Brian Boulan, Martin Yoni, Lee Mitchell, uh, Dominic Woodin, now Alessandro Giordano, all young. And you're what, only eight fights in still? Eight fights, seven and one I am now, yeah. that sounds good. Uh, 24 years old, 25 in a couple of days, so I'm just starting out my career. I know I'm ready for the UFC. You, you look at my resume, I've just said there, I'm fighting top European guys. I'm fighting guys who on any given, get, any given day could be in the UFC themselves. So I know I'm 100% prepared for it. I'm not fighting a bunch of cans, I'm not playing my records. I'm going to the top of this sport and I'm doing the right things to get there. I think I know the answer to this, but who do you want next? Do you know what? Like, you think I'm going to say Martin Yoni for the belt? Yeah. Listen, I want, I want more fights. I want all of them. I want Reese McEwen, I want Caelan Lockren, and I want Martin Yoni next year. Those are the three fights I want because those are three other young, hungry contenders, like I've said. Yeah. And I know if I take out those three names, which I can and I will, how are the UFC not going to sign me off that? So that's what I want. Be great to have a little tournament, maybe. Yeah. Let's do it. Bantamweight tournament and game. We'll do a semi final one night and then we'll go on to do the final. And there's four names for you right there me, Reese, Caelan, and Martin Yoni. That division is on fire. Historically, it's been an amazing division for, for Cage Warriors with Nathaniel Wood and Jack Shaw. Like, and, and it just keeps on giving. I can't wait to see what's next for you in 2023. But thank you for like <laughs> giving up your Christmas to, to stay on weight and to, and to be fit and ready for today. What, how are you celebrating tonight? Listen, this is better than any Christmas I've ever had. Do you know what I mean? Despite the fact I was cutting weight on Christmas Day, this moment right now is worth it a thousand times over. So it's a celebrate I'm going to go and sit with the nearest and dearest the people who have come to watch me people who have stuck by me all year my family my friends and I'm just going to relish in this moment and enjoy it take the week I'm going to enjoy my birthday I'm 25 on Tuesday and then Monday the 9th of January I'm back in the gym I'm back working on any weak areas and I'm coming for a massive 2023 I know every time I speak to you you are your own worst critic how do you sum up the fight yeah I'm gonna to have to watch it back because right now I'm not that happy with it but I think my coaches have told me I did a lot better than what I thought uh, so we'll see there's still a couple of areas where I think I was rushing a bit of lack of composure but I'm working on that I got I, I was a lot better than what I was in the, in the wooden fight do you know what I mean in terms of rushing and staying composed so yeah I'm, I'm just so happy to have the win but like I said I'll, I'll have to go and watch it back and see I'll probably find some holes that I'm not happy with I've got to ask you how deep that guillotine was so deep I'm not going to lie like that was on I was saying to myself I, I had a thought in my head of Alexander Volkanovsky when he was in the guillotine with Brian Ortega and I knew he had that championship mentality to battle out of it and that's what I was telling myself I was like this is your time to prove that you've got that as well so in my head look I was either going out or getting out do you know what I mean and listen Alessandro as well I know he's been an alpha male so that's where he learnt that and I thought when he put it on I'm, normal, I'm so comfy in those positions no one ever really guillotines me it's your position yeah so I was like I'm sweet here and then next minute I was like oh shit this is going on uh, but look, I battled through and that was just another thing I'm happy to overcome even more adversity in the fight and get the win so I'm on top of the world right His now. corner were arguing at the end they said that you had toes in the fence or trying to escape what do you say to that? I don't know, a fight to fight in it, whatever. Listen, I got out, do you know what I mean? He never finished me, so it is what it is. I don't, I don't know. In that position, you're fighting tooth and nail to get out. I wasn't thinking about the cage. I wasn't thinking about where my fingers were. I was thinking about not going to sleep. So, I don't know. We'll have to see.
Congratulations. I wish you a very, very happy new year and I can't wait to see you fight again next year. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you Appreciate so much. it. Thank you.